So we're gonna go for the baseball back choke from the knee on belly position, but remember we have to isolate the knee on belly first before we go for it. So it's very important that this is like a ladder. I can't jump the first part of the ladder to go to the second one. It's gotta be in steps. So we're gonna do it one time full through, full speed, and then we're gonna go from there. It's okay. So now what we're gonna do, so we're gonna set it up everything from the beginning nice and tight and strong. So we're in our side control, everything's fine. We got our knee on belly, we look up two points, everything's good, crowd is going wild, it's nice. So planting here. Now, Dennis is gonna stay really smooth for me here because I'm controlling him. He's accepted this, he's pushed my knee when I be, but I have to make sure he's flat. When I feel the timing is ready, I take my hand off of the hip, it's gonna stay palm up, it's gonna go on the same side that my hand is at. I'm gonna try and make my pinky touch my finger. I wanna make sure it's just like a baseball bat, so it's gonna be nice and tight. Now, I wanna make sure that once my grip is here, I'm not just grabbing the lapel, I'm trying to reach in as far as I can and grab the material. I wanna make it almost like, I'm gonna bury my knuckles into like his AC joint and his trap. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. So once I get my grip, it's here nice and tight. Now, I'm gonna plant, I'm gonna rip my knee off and I'm gonna run all the way around him. So yes, it's a baseball bat, but obviously we're gonna swing and then we're gonna run the bases as fast as we can. So we have our grip, it's nice and tight. My knee comes off. I'm gonna plant my chest if I can, but if I do this right, the second I turn the corner, he's already gonna tap. I need to drop my elbow, turn, and finish. Now, I prefer to always wrench my bottom hand because I want his neck to turn like this. If his head turns, it gives me more space for my top elbow to drop down and get the choke a lot better. So, I need to make sure that I make this as uncomfortable as possible. It's, it is vicious, yes, but the more that I obviously make him susceptible to what I'm trying to do, the easier the tap is gonna be. So, once again, it's just like the knee on neck and everything else that we're doing. I'm going from zero to 100. I'm not taking it slow, we're not going step by step and seeing and looking for him to go like, oh, does it hurt, and then do you wanna tap? I'm going from no to everything right away. It's his job to tap, it's my tap to go. That's all, that's all that we have to do from here. So, knee and belly is set up, we're in nice and tight. Top hand is gonna come inside. We're gonna be here, it's nice and deep. I drop my elbow and I run and I finish. Now, the difference between white belts and black belts is the difference because of what, how I set this up. A white belt's gonna take his time, he's looking for technique and whatever he tells him to do, he's trying to go off to the side. It takes about 25 different steps. Uh, when you put in your time and you understand why things work and how they work, I take out the stuff that I don't need. I don't need to do the stupid little moves that we needed to get us from point A to point C. I'm gonna jump right to where I need to go. So I have to make sure that I'm giving you the important details what actually makes this actually work, not the ones that are just gonna kind of like bullshit and go through. So in nice and tight, elbow down. Once I get my grip, this is the start. This is, the, this is where we're starting the racer. This is where I wanna go from. It goes from zero to 100. As soon as I get this grip, I just can't stop. I go as fast and as hard as I can, cut the corner and drive. You can see that my body pressure isn't even down. I can try to get my chest down if I need to finish, but if I go hard enough and fast enough, I'll get the choke as soon as I turn the corner, and then that's how we'll finish the fight.